Kahala, Yahweh Ba Hashem Amashiach Yahweh Shai Ba Hashem Haraka Kadesh Barakata Yahweh Barakata Yahweh Shai Barakatam to the Akim Wa Akim after keeping his word, truth, and all sincerity, teaching the downfall of Esau, the two thirds his wicked queendom and these heathens, to the one third men, women, and children, decent and in order, to the Ha by Asha Dawada, the house of David, to the 144 faithful men chosen from the womb, Kwame Asha'Allah, Rise Israel, Lam Lam Young, forever and ever. <clears throat> this is, I just wanted to go over a quick little thing here. Um, this is Revelations 5 and 11. And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts of the elders and the number of them was 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands of thousands okay all right so this is psalm 6 68 and 17 and the chariots of god yahweh are 20 thousands the allah are 20 thousands even thousands of angels the Lord, Yahabashim Yashai, is among them, and as in Sinai, in the holy place. There's one more thing that I want to get. Um, let me see if I can find that verse. Like it. Let's see if this is it. Uh, no, that's New Testament, so it ain't gonna make sense. Why does it say New Testament? Okay. Um, bear with me. Salakia. Okay, well, this is Second Corinthians um, 2 and 10. So, or we're going to jump down to 4. Okay. It says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yahweh, Elohim, uh, Elohim, to the pulling down of strongholds. Okay. Um, there's a verse that I was looking for about that we are agents, you know, that we're agents for the Most High. Just because there's agents out here looking and watching for us doesn't mean that we're not agents for the Most High. Um because he hears our voice he doesn't hear the voice of the other people um let me pull it up He hears our prayers. Let's see. So, like, I'm trying to. Okay, so. Um, this is 1 John 5 and 14. And this is the confidence that we have in Him that if we ask anything according to His will, He heareth us. Okay? Okay. Uh, and if we know that he heareth, heareth, heareth whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we desire of him. So he hears the ones that, you know, that are praying unto him, okay? The ones that are doing his work and following the, the work of Yahweh Bashim Shai, okay? So I want to go ahead and put this, this video on this little clip. Turn it down so it's not too loud.
So, the lock is gotta get to this little eyeball cup. Yo, and that's the spirit right there. That's the spirit right there because he said that there's thousands of people here just like me. And that goes back to the 144,000. That's not the one I'm looking for. Um, it's a book of Revelations where he says there's going to be 12,000 from each tribe. The 144,000. So I keep trying to pull up Psalms. There we go. Let's see if I can pull it up right here. Okay, this is Revelation 7 and 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. See, these men are already sealed, okay? This is Revelation means to reveal. These, these men are sealed, okay? And they're sealed 144,000 of all the tribes, of all the children of Israel, okay? Coming from the tribes, okay? That's the spirit. That's 844 right there, too. That's the spirit. Um... What are about shimmy on shot? Yeah, so that's the spirit. So there's there's agents here already who who don't know that they're even agents, you know, that's working for you. How about shimmy on shot? There's some that might not even know this word yet, but the spirit's already in them. You know, they may only know a little bit of stuff or or they may only be here to serve a little lot. They may be here to be a martyr, but you know, their spirit goes back to Yahweh yeah, by Shimmy on Shai. Okay? Um, so they're sealed. These people are already sealed. They were chosen from the womb. Okay. Watch. From the womb. Okay. These people were chosen from the womb. Okay. The wicked are estranged from the womb and go astray as soon as they're born speaking lies. Right. So the wicked are are estranged from the womb or the wicked are estranged from the room from the womb correct okay now watch what he also says from the womb this is jeremiah okay so the wicked are estranged from the womb they come out telling lies this is jeremiah 1 and 5 before i formed thee in the belly i knew thee so yeah i knew that those people were going to be wicked 
And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. So you're already sanctified if you're 144,000. You don't have to hope. You're already 144,000. You're the ones just, you know, you're the one like, for instance, when I don't do it, how about Shimmy Shai says, he fucks me up. Just straight up. Your life will get messed up. You, he tells you to do something, he's going to destroy you. And ordain thee a prophet unto the nations. He didn't say unto just your people. He said unto the nations. So you're going to have all kinds of people coming up to you, asking you stuff, doing stuff for you, giving you gifts and shit, you know? And it's, and it's weird, you know, when you got random strange people coming up to you that say, you know, they the government know who you are, giving you gifts, sending agents, talking to you. They're trying to catch your tongue up and do all kinds of stuff. These people have been like this from the womb. They've been hated. You ain't never been friends with nobody. Okay? They've been hated since they came out the womb. You ain't going through this. Look, John 15 and 18. If the world hates you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. So you ain't of the world. You an agent, okay? So as many people as we call an agent, you got the agents for the left-hand side, you got the agents for the right-hand side, okay? But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world will hate you, okay? How many times do we got to tell you? Not everybody's being chosen. Well, let's get that. like it where does that verse go let's get that it's the same no 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 nope let's see This is this K, King James, John 3 and 13. Marvel not, my brethren. If the world hate you, see, same thing. Know that it, it's cool. Don't trip. Marvel not, brethren. If the world hate you, don't trip. You know? Don't, you know what I mean? You ain't even supposed to be caring about what the enemies got. You know what I mean? You an agent for the most high. You a friend of the most high. You know what I mean? He going to hear you. He going he gonna to tend to your needs. Your needs, you know? Whatever you, you going to eat, right? I said, my people. Okay? My people know my name. My people shall eat. My people shall not be ashamed. My people perish for the lack of knowledge. How many times he got to tell you throughout this thing? My people. He's coming for his people. So there are agents here that are of his people. They may not have even been awake. He says he's going to wake you. Look. Let's get this, man. So you're going to be an agent. You just ain't going gonna to wake up, bro. Like that. You an agent. You an agent for the most high. It says Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing in the time. What time are we in? We in the time that now is. Now it is high time to awake out of the sleep. Boom. So you're going to wake up out of the sleep. You start realizing who you are. For now is our salvation near than we be uh, than we believed. Okay. So you was asleep. If you was asleep, you'll know you're an agent. You're a sleeper agent. You were asleep. You know you was an agent for the most high. And now you're waking up. Okay. You, you know what I mean? That's that's just what it is. You know, we agents for your how about you, man? Shai, okay. That's that's what it is, you know. It doesn't matter what everybody else is saying. We agents for the mo the most high. How about Shai? If the world hated you first, know that they hated it. Hate, if the world hates you, know that they hated him first. Okay. So we agents. Thousands upon thousands of ships is coming. Okay. Thousands upon thousands of ships is coming. They coming for you. You know. You've been an agent. You've been hated your whole life. Life. Okay. You've been talked down to from your brothers and your sisters. He ain't coming for everybody, okay? He taking one from a city, one from a cluster, okay? 
Jeremiah 3 and 14, turn O backside and children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you. So you was already married. You hooked on. And I will take you, one from a city and two from a family, and bring you unto Zion. Just like and they were saying in, uh, in the Matrix, Zion. You know what I mean? The ones that are awakened. Okay, so they're going to take one. You don't, he don't need everybody. You know what I mean? He don't need everybody. One cluster. How many times he got to tell you? This is Isaiah 65 and 8. Thus saith the Lord, as a new wine is found in the cluster. And one saith, destroy it not, for the blessing is in it. So I, so will I do for my servant's sake, that I may destroy them all. Mm, no, that I may not destroy them all. Okay? Just like, just he's a merciful God. You just got to pray for mercy, you know? Just like when uh, Lot was trying to leave. Lot's, Lot, even Lot's children's, his wife's husbands could have been saved. But no, they didn't want to listen. Lot was like, hey, we got to leave. Lot, they didn't want to listen. Lot, Lot, you know what I mean? Lot was rich too. He had to give up all his stuff. When you when you turn from this and you turn to the Lord, you know, even these women and stuff, they can't be a distraction. You're just going to have to keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You're just going to have to keep marching like, fuck it. I'm going for it. Remember, you're an agent. Your agents ain't supposed to be getting. Well, I mean, agents get distracted and stuff, but you're going to get put back on goal. One straight. You know what I mean? Especially if you his. Why? Because he chastises who he loves. So you're going to get chastised when you're going through stuff. What does he say? Take it cheerfully. Okay. Don't be saying nothing about my spelling. I know y'all like this nigga can't spell. Hebrews 12 and 6. For whom the Lord loveth, he chastiseth and scourges every son who he receiveth. If ye endure chastising, Yahweh dealeth with you as with sons. For the son. He whom, or for what is is a son whom the father chastised not. So if he don't chastise you, then you ain't shit. Okay. All right. So you know what I mean. This is uh, Ecclesiastic. Ecclesiastic is two and four. Whatsoever is brought up on thee, take cheerfully. Okay, and be patient. When thou art changed to a low estate. Okay, so the most high is gonna do that. You gotta be what he say. He said, be patient, right? We can't be telling them to hurry up. You can't be getting off. You gotta be patient. You can't be cursing Yahab by Shem and Shah. Be patient. Why? Because you're gonna receive a crown, right? You're gonna receive a reward. Okay. Okay, this is Revelations 2 and 10. Fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the day the devil shall cast some of you in prison, into prisons. Okay? They, they may fuck with your life, change everything up. Don't trip. That ye may be tried. That's the trying part. They're going to try you. And ye shall have tribulation 10 days. Okay? Be thou faithful unto death. And I will give thee a crown of life. Okay. So just continue your faithfulness. You're going to be tried. You're going to have gang soccer people. Agents. People to try you. Christians. All kinds of people. Your brothers. Your sisters. You know what I mean. The devil shall cast some of you in the prison. You know they're going to be punching you. Hitting you. Spitting on you. Spitting on your name. They're going to do all kinds of stuff. They're going to they gonna be spitting on your name right here. Luke 6 and 22. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you. So you speaking this truth. Your friends, everybody going to hate you. You should be alone. And we when, when they shall separate you from their company and shall reproach you and cast your name as evil for the son of man's sake. So that's what I say. You should be. You should be the talk of the fucking town, man. 
people should go spread shit about you, say shit about you. But is it true? Is it a sin? Is it true? What is it? You know what I mean? They can say whatever the fuck they want. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter. Remember, you're going to remain blameless in the end. You're going to remain, remain blameless in the end. So, okay. This is Philippians 2 and 15. That ye may be blameless and harmless. Okay. So people are going to talk shit about you. Say that you're doing stuff. You're going to remain blameless and harmless. It doesn't matter if they say you broke the law. There's going to be Akiam in jails for all kinds of stuff. Uh, the son of God without rebuke. Remember, you're going to be re reproached, reproved, you know what I mean? In the midst of the crooked and perverse nation. So this nation is crooked and perverse. They're going to tell you what, okay, hold on. Among whom you shine as light in the world. So you shining all the time. That's why people hate that shine, you know what I mean? They're making those faces at you, okay? Um, They're making those faces at you. They're going to tell you that what you're doing is, you know, evil or whatever, okay? That's what they're going to do. They're going to say you're doing something wicked or evil. They don't know what they, they, they're they talking about. You know, they'll disagree with what you're saying. Everything is, oh, I feel, I feel, I feel. Yeah, how about Shimon Shai? Don't give a fuck how you feel. He don't give a fuck how we feel. You know what I mean? We, we feel how he feel. You know what I mean? But we, if you ain't feeling how we feeling, then that's, you, you got to figure out your issues. You know, it says, worry about your own salvation. This is Isaiah 5 and 20. It says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. You know what I mean? This is the whole thing where he says you they turned everything upside down. You know what I mean? Everything is flipped upside down and backwards. Isaiah 29, 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as a potter's clay. So they trying to turn shit up and down and then fix it like it's okay. No, no, it doesn't work like that. It's upside down. You know what I mean? That's that whole, that whole, let me show you. For shall thy work say of him that made it, he made me not. Or shall the thing frame say of him that framed it, he he had no understanding. So basically, the same thing is you agree with abomination, you abomination. If you defend an abomination, you abomination. Okay, because you frame it. It's like it's like it's like the nigga that's like this. Basically, what that's saying is, the girl who shoots the porn, the guy who directs the porn, and the guy that buys the porn, or the guy who's filming the porn. Which one's all wrong? Fuck it, they're all wrong. You chose that job. You could have walked away. I understand there's going to be hard to save. Some women are forced into it. But you chose that job. You know what I mean? So you're all wrong. You'll be like, oh, just because I, I just bought it doesn't mean, you know, nigga, you're in the wrong. Okay? They turn things upside down. Try to make it seem as a potter's clay, you know? Um, saying what's bad, what was good is, what's good is evil, what's bad, uh, evil was good. Okay? What was I going to get? I was going to get a verse. Slaki, slaki. Oh, slaki. It'll come back to me. I ain't tripping. But yeah, so, I mean, just remember right now, we we, we agents for you. How about Shimia Shai? You know, the world's going to hate you. It should hate you. The world should talk shit about you. It should talk shit about you, especially in, if you're in this world. You're going to get cast into prisons. People going to say all kinds of shit. They're going to say you did stuff. They're going to say you did things that are wicked that ain't wicked. You know, they're going to say, oh, what about the law of the land? When the law of the land is if you watch an animal, if the animal could do it, then it means that it's right for you to do. But you don't get what the, most of y'all won't understand that. It says if you want to learn anything, ask animal. Okay? You watch what the animals eat. You watch what the animals do. The animals are pooping on the ground. What are you supposed to be doing? Pooping on the ground. You know, they eating the seeds, pooping on the ground. Okay? But y'all, everybody destroys the animals. When the animals migrate, guess what's, what's, what's probably supposed to be for you to do? You're supposed to migrate. You know, that's what Gatnam was doing. But people won't, people don't want to do that, you know? They they don't want to follow the, the law of the land. They want to do what everybody else is doing. And that's because they walk hand in hand. Okay? 
You can't be in agreement unless you walk hand in hand. And if you walk in hand in hand, then you are enemy of the most high. You, you, you friends with the world, world. Let me get that verse. Let me get this verse. James 4 and 4. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity of Yahweh. For whoever therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of Yahweh, of God. Okay? Man, I was going to get another verse. It keeps coming and bouncing out. You know how it is. <laughs> it's an enemy of Yahweh. You know? So you want to be friends with them, right? It says John 15 and 4. Ye are my friends if ye do whatever I command you. And what did he command you? To keep the law, statutes, and commandments, right? Yes, okay. What is, what is the love of God? Oops, lock you. First John 5 and 3, for this is the love of Yahweh, that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous, right? So what happens when you don't keep his commandments? You get death, right? Sin is the wage of sin. Okay. For This is Romans 6 and 23. For the wages of sin is death. For the gift of God is eternal life through Yahweh by Shem Shai, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, our Lord, you know. So, our, 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 our Adoniah, you know. So, you, 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 you sin, so you get deaf. That's the wages of sin. You get deaf. That's why he says, if you, he who sins against me wrong is his own soul. Here we go. Proverbs 8 and 36. For he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. Why? Because you die. And all that hate me love death. That's why we say you can't walk hand in hand. If you walk hand in hand, then you a fucking enemy of Yahweh. You Satan. You a two-third. You a two-third, okay? You a two-third. That's when you a sinner. You're going to get put to death. Okay? You're two thirds. You're two thirds. It says Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, not just America, all the land, saith the Lord, uh, Yahweh, Adoniah, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, and the third shall be left therein. Why do you think we say to the one-third men, women, and children in that order? Because he said do everything decent in our order. So man is above woman, above woman, uh, above, man is above woman, above man is Yahweh Shai, and above Yahweh Shai is the father, our Abba, Yahweh. See? This, 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 you wrong with your own soul, you're going to be destroyed. You wonder why you're going to get put to death. You wonder why there's so much stuff going on. You see all these people dying and all this sin is, and I mean, they trying to look, make things look good, like the land of milk and honey. What do you think this is? We're in a land of milk and honey. Because guess what? Watch this. Let me show you. Deuteronomy 26 and 9. And he had brought us unto this place and have given us this land, even a land that floweth with milk and honey. So that's why I keep saying this, this land over here belongs to us as well. It belongs to us. Because if you look up the adjective for milk, let me show you. Let me show you. 
Okay. So the word milk, draw milk from a cow either. Okay, so let's 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 find what it actually means. Okay. The word milk milking it means to like uh you know, it means to fraud, to defraud slowly. So it's not it's not here. But that's what it were. The word milking means it means to defraud slowly, uh, which is what's happening. They're milking us through taxes. They're defrauding us slowly. They're taking slowly to take slowly. And the word honey is they try to make it look good, just like on the news and everything. They try to make America and this land of Bab Babylon look great. Okay, that's what. Let's see if we can find. Um, see, dishonest. Often in unfair or dishonest way, milking. Let me let me look up milking etymology so you can know what it means. Well, it's not really saying what it is, but it looks like right here, it, they're saying white fluid, but to draw from is basically what it says. So if you're drawing from, you're drawing from slowly. You're milking to milk, milking to wipe, to rub off, to stroke. And yeah, that's a little bit not it. But that's what it means. It means to uh, to defraud. Milk, meaning, watch, milking, meaning to defraud. See, another, an, what is another word for milking? Present, uh, present, per, uh, partic particle for exploit or like exploiting or defraud by taking small amounts of money over a period of time. See, present particular partic partic particle for extract sap venom. See what I'm saying? So you're milking. They're not not only are they milking us, but they're milking the animals. You know what I mean? They're milking the animals to take advantage, milking, okay? So that's what's happening. We're in the land of milk and honey, where we're getting taken advantage of in every single way. We were milked through slavery. We were milked, like, milked through... Everybody's being milked, cheated, device, defraud, whatever you want to call it. And honey just makes stuff look sweet, desirable, good, glowy, you know, shiny, whatever, you know what I mean? Uh, like an amber, you know what I mean? It's to make it look good, make it look rich. But it's not rich. It's the fraud. Devious. It's the fraud. Cheating. This is where we are. The land of milk and honey. This is actually happening all over the world right now. Well, I don't know if other countries are really taking taxes like that. But for us. But yeah. What I was saying. You know. I'm just going to end it right there. I'm going to end it right there. I just want to say that I hope that the prayer this was edifying. Uh, yeah. I pray that this was edifying. You know. Hold on to the truth. We almost up out of here. Shalom, Yahabashim, Yahshai. Brakta Yahweh, Brakta Yahshai, Brakta.